Madam President, I wanted to just come to the floor for a few minutes today to talk about the absolutely devastating wildfires that are currently burning through farms and communities and public lands in our home state of Washington. Uh, you know, Madam President, as a lifelong resident of Washington State and the Pacific Northwest, I've always been aware of the annual risks and dangers that wildfires pose to our region. Every summer, summer it's a combination of rising temperatures and months of dry weather and our state's obviously abundance of forest and fields have resulted in wildfires capable of threatening homes and businesses across our state. And each summer we have worked to become better and better pre prepared to help protect our communities. But Madam President, one wildfire burning this year is the single largest we have seen in Washington State. And since last Tuesday, massive wildfires covering hundreds of thousands of acres have ra ravaged our farmlands and our agricultural areas and our cherished public lands, and most importantly, communities throughout Chelan County, Okanagan County, and others uh, across eastern Washington. Now, I'm talking about a massive wave of flames that has burned an area now four times the size of Seattle, which is our state's largest city. Even for those who have, of us who have lived our entire lives with the reality of wildfires, this is unprecedented. So Madam President, while I'm hearing what we call the other Washington today, my heart, my thoughts, my prayers are in central and eastern Washington. And even here on the Senate floor, I can't help but think of the firefighters and first responders and everyone who's neglecting sleep and rest to protect their communities. And most of all, I can't stop thinking about the families who've lost their homes and all they own uh, to this horrific disaster. But Madam President, if there's one thing I know about our state, uh, it's that we don't turn away from hard times or hard work. And over the last several weeks, I've talked with a number of the local leaders in the communities that are facing these fires. Uh, Sheriff Frank Rogers in Okanagan County, Sheriff Brian Burnett in Chelan County, and Mayor Libby Harrison in the small town of Pateras, where dozens and dozens of homes, including her own, have been lost to this fire. And every one of them told me that while their community's facing hard times, nobody is giving up. They've been doing everything they can to protect each and every person in their rural communities, and so far they've been able to do that. And Madam President, I just wanna share one story that speaks to what's happening in my home state right now. As I mentioned, this little small town of Pateros has been ver hit very hard. And they haven't lost any lives, but they've lost more than 100 homes and buildings throughout their community. But one building that they did not lose was their school, which has always been to them their central uh, place of their community, and it's now the central staging area as these fires rage on. Just like in many other small communities, the school in Patera serves kids in grades K through 12, and last week that fire came within just a few feet of that school. Firefighters and responders were working elsewhere so the school could easily have burned down until a local man by the name of Augustine Morales decided to do something about it. He and a friend used hoses on the backs of their own trucks to fight back their fire and save their kids' school. Augustine was interviewed by a local TV station and I want to quote what he said. He said, everything was going through my mind because I have my kids, and I have to take care of my kids. And I was just thinking, if you die, I don't know what's gonna happen. So Madam President, that's what so many people, just like Augustine, are facing right now in central and eastern Washington. And I know they won't be giving up. Uh, so in addition to our thoughts and our prayers, we've gotta make sure that we are working to have all of the federal resources they need available. And I'm thrilled that the Senate supplemental funding bill that was released yesterday actually includes $615 million for firefighting efforts in western states. The money I requested along with my colleague, Senator Cantwell, uh, and 10 other colleagues. Uh, but we know there's a lot more work to be done. We have to get that funding passed through the Senate and the House and to the President's desk right away. And I'm really pleased that early yesterday morning, the President, in fact, made an emergency declaration that is gonna help those communities fight these wildfires. I know that I and Senator Cantwell and all of us are gonna be working with our local officials and federal officials all the way up to the President to make sure that those communities get, get what they need. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor and I suggest the absence of a quorum.